current rate of removal, it would take around 1,100 years to get rid of the 110 million landmines scattered across the world and cost around $100 billion. Some modern landmines are designed to self-destruct. However, these mechanisms aren't always reliable, and the mines that don't have this feature far outnumber the ones that do. And of course, demining is dangerous. An average of two people are injured and one killed for every 5,000 mines cleared. Fortunately, there are many tools that can be used to locate and clear out these hidden dangers. Metal Detectors Joseph Kosaki invented the Polish mine detector in 1941. It was used to clear the German minefields during the Second Battle of El Alamein. Metal detectors like this one are still used today to locate mines, but their effectiveness varies depending on the depth of the landmine and what materials it's made of. The most powerful metal detector was only able to locate 91% of landmines in clay soil and just 71% in iron-rich soil. Animals Animals can also sniff out landmines. Bomb-sniffing dogs and bomb-sniffing African pouched rats can sniff out the explosive odors associated with landmines. Magawa, a rat, can sniff out a tennis court-sized field in just 20 minutes, a task that could take a human with a metal detector up to four days. While the 2.6-pound rat is larger than other rat species, he's still light enough to walk over the mines without triggering them. Mine plows. Mine plows are tank-mounted devices that resemble rakes. They clear any buried mines the vehicle may encounter, pushing them to the surface and moving them clear of the tank. The tanks are designed to be pretty much blast resistant. Of course, they need to be operated by a human, which means lives are at risk. Uncrewed and autonomous options. One autonomous option is the D3, created by the Swiss nonprofit Digger Foundation. The bulldozer like device can be remotely operated from more than 1,000 feet away. Previous iterations of the vehicle have successfully cleared mines in North and South Sudan. Another autonomous creation is the Bozina 4. The mine clearance system was designed by Way Industry. It's remote controlled, blast resistant, and can be operated from three miles away. More than 80 of these uncrewed vehicles are currently in service. Several organizations are also focusing on researching ways to eradicate these landmines. One example is Tiramisu, a research program that has collaborated with 26 groups around Europe for the research and development of new demining tools. The goal of these toolboxes is to assist in locating the landmines, excavating them, and diffusing or detonating them without any loss of life. Demining as we currently know it may be a slow and dangerous process, but as technology continues to develop, we could increase the speed at which we safely eradicate these deadly weapons, resulting in a much safer world.